Digital River's uh, technology strategy from a big component of the foundation is built on VMware, EMC, HP, and Cisco, and basically on-demand services. So if you think about what virtualization does, it goes along with all the tools that are also set up that manage that virtualization. This allows us to spin up a copy of an environment, allows us to provide infrastructure to our developers so that they aren't having to go through an on-demand request. Leveraging the VMware technology, in the current consolidations that we've done, we've reduced almost 30% uh, of our physical footprint, and we've cut out about 40% of our environmental impact. So when I look at a software-defined data center, it's really all of the pieces that make up the stack. As we look at our hardware standards, as we look at our technology standards, as we look at our monitoring tools, but one of the big components is it transforms not only IT, but it transforms all the development life cycles. If you think of everything that we have from our customer life cycle, from originations all the way through them closing their cart, the deployment, the fulfillment of anything that they've purchased, be it hardware or software, VMware is right smack in the middle of that along with the supporting tools. The next part of this that makes it very, very exciting is really getting into the virtualization of the supporting technologies. With virtualized storage technology, you're now taking all of these tools and all of these technologies that were independent and you're now weaving them together. I now have a virtualized firewall cluster. I am now able to dynamically move the traffic, the security, the compliance layer across where I need to be. That can be within my cloud and now within VMware's hybrid cloud services. That's where the software-defined data center really comes into play, is it's transforming really what you're looking at. One of the big changes in the transformation with our teams is with the software-defined data center, is this is now enabling cross-technology. Now you're allowing those teams to expand their knowledge base. You're reducing single points of failure. You're able to use technology that moves cleanly across those stacks. You're providing them greater career paths. So as you look at the teams you're building, how do you retain those teams? Those teams are core to your success because those are the individuals that are helping to manage and deliver this information and innovation to all of your teams. We're really taking a lot of the barriers out of the way so the business can basically go to their clients and say, not only can we deliver a technology much more quickly to you, faster speed to market, provide them another avenue of commerce, but also the innovation. Technology is continuing to leapfrog itself, and this is allowing us to move very, very quickly.